My love for hockey. What's up guys? How you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different. Have some fun and be yourself guys. But I am here to talk to you guys about today is my love for hockey but before we get started into that my newfoundland trip 2018 it, hopefully it'll be going up sunday because tomorrow's video is a skit so uh so hopefully my uh, trip will be on the sunday um i'm hoping for that but i'm not sure because i still have to fix it and get it up and all of that stuff but currently when I am recording this um, I currently have 1,782 subscribers we are 18 subscribers away from 1.8 thousand subscribers that is crazy because I looked at my social blade right now and we have grown a lot in like the month of August and like um and all that and we've grown in the summer so much cause I looked at it in April we hit uh on April 21st we hit 1000 subscribers because I posted the video on April 22nd and it is currently August the oh I don't know what day it is it might be the 16th or the 17th um, I'm not sure honestly what day it is right now but yeah so we have grown a lot since then we have almost grown 800 subscribers in the summer um, which is that's really really crazy and I, I just can't believe that because at one point uh, last summer we hit 600 subscribers and then we like gained about 50 subscribers in I'd say like seven months or something like that it was crazy because we didn't we only got like 50 subscribers in seven months and now here I'm sitting in the summer which is like ooh, April to August is like a four month span um, and that's really really crazy that we've almost got over like uh, 800 subscribers in the summer um, yeah so it is crazy that we're growing now and I'm really happy because I love posting videos but if I can get an audience to watch them that's even better for me and yeah so like I hope we can hit 200 or 2,000 subscribers by the end of the summer and by the end of time I have to go back to school because that would be a nice goal for me that this summer was very very successful because I almost posted every single day um, I missed about a week in two days of posting I, I think I'd say about a week and a couple of, maybe close to two weeks um, one of them was because I was on um, my trip like the cottage trip which was the Lake Kuchishin trip which was I was gone for four days without Wi-Fi um, but luckily I posted on the Wednesday that we were leaving and the Saturday that we came back so I only had to miss two days there and then in Newfoundland, um, I had to miss a whole week um, because when we went there first, we went to Northern Bay where there was absolutely no Wi-Fi whatsoever. But if you guys like, when when my Newfoundland trip 2018 video comes out, you will see how beautiful it is. And yeah, but and then I came back to St. John's and. I posted videos that I pre-recorded 
Um, and so, yeah, so I pre-recorded videos so that I could post for you guys, and we were growing in subscribers, so that, so that makes me happy that I posted those videos. But yeah, so let's get straight into why I love hockey. So, it all started back in 2009. Um, my nanny, she's from Newfoundland, uh, and that's why, I, like, the main part that's why we visited new that's why we visit Newfoundland every year to see family and to visit my nanny so she'd always come up in the winters and spend time with us um, ever since like we've been little and yeah so she introduced me to hockey in 2009 and she has three boys well now they're, they're my uncles and when they were growing up they loved hockey. They built a like hockey rink um, on like the side of their house just to play hockey there, and so she loved hockey as well. And uh, yeah, so back in two thousand and nine, um, she introduced me to hockey. She introduced me to the Pittsburgh Penguins, and that's why I love the Pittsburgh Penguins to this day. And they actually won the Stanley Cup that year. And I went to when we went to Newfoundland this year. She still remembered that she still loves the Pittsburgh Penguins and that I love the Pittsburgh Penguins with her. And yeah, so she introduced me to hockey, and she would write. So I I wasn't able to stay up because um, I was only like seven at that time, six or seven. Uh, it was probably I was probably six turning seven though. Um, back in those days and she she would always write me these letters when she would be here and they would be these letters of like what happened in the game and all of that stuff so I would wake up to these letters on my like my desk or like my um, my bureau and it would just be talking about the game and all it was really really fun because I got to like and we still had these I believe my mom has these, I don't have these, but it was really, really cool because she introduced me to hockey, and I love hockey, and like, I don't know, she's just been a big part of me, like, loving hockey, and she's like, I don't know, like, she introduced me to hockey, but yeah, so she would write these letters um, every single time that the, that the Penguins played a game, I believe, or... Yeah, every single time the Penguins played a game, she would write it, like, the date and, like, what happened. Say, like, Crosby scored a goal. She would write that down. She'd write down who the, who the goal scorers were, what the outcome of the game was. And, like, like I said, I'd just wake up, read the letter, and it was just really, really cool. And she did this for a long, long time. Because she would spend the winters with us, and then she'd go back to Newfoundland and spend the summers there. So she did that for such a long time, and it was just really cool getting those messages every day. Just waking up to that. And uh, yeah, so I love the Pittsburgh Penguins every, ever since 2009. Um, I have so many Pittsburgh Penguins stuff in my room. Um, I have so many stuff in front of me, on, like, the side of me, and, like, I have, like, the logo, I have, like, the jerseys, the hats, and I even got to meet Sidney Crosby, which was a really, really cool experience, um, so I went to, I've been to two Pittsburgh Penguins games, one against the New Jersey Devils, uh, which they won, I believe, and the second one was against the Boston Bruins. And so I met Sidney Crosby at the Boston Bruins game. And so uh, my mom, she knows that I'm a huge Sidney Crosby fan. So she told the security guard, because um, only apparently not a lot of people get to meet Sidney Crosby. So she told the security guard that I'm a huge, like a big Sidney Crosby fan. And John wasn't allowed to go up, so I went up, and I got to meet him, and I had the 2008 jersey on, and he said, oh, I remember that, and um, because they lost that year to the Detroit Wagons, 
Red Wings, and then the next year, they won the Stanley Cup against the Detroit Red, Red Wings. And so, yeah, it was just a really, really cool experience. And, uh, like, I don't know, I still love hockey to this day. I've always been a Pittsburgh Penguins fan, and I have been alive to see the Pittsburgh Penguins win three Stanley Cups. So that is really, really good. But, yeah, so my nanny is, like, a like she got me into, like, loving hockey. And I am thankful for that because I love hockey. And it's just a big part of me because I love going into the driveway and just shooting the ball around and, like, doing deeks and all that stuff. But, yeah, so I do think that's going to have to end off today's video. So, if you'd like to watch another video, guys, be subscribed to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. Stay savage, minds. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.